Or I don't. I keep up with it, that. Stuff. It depends. I mean, most. I think it will disband. It depends on the teams whether they want to get a buyout or not. But yeah. Um. Let me just screen share right now. Okay, so like I've I've recently moved places, so my Wi-Fi might be a little bit dodgy. Um, if it is, then let me know, okay. obviously. But it should be okay for the most part. Um, <coughs> that's me. Um, but yeah, let's let's go over uh the yeah. Let's, uh, like, just tell me a bit about like yourself as a player, like what rank you are, what heroes you play, what your general goals. Um, yeah. So I've always played competitive for years. I played comp. I say years in the beginning and and earlier in the seasons. I I played uh, competitive in um as uh, support and really struggling to get any value on support so moved over to dps and now uh, rank three gold which is my peak uh from bronze five all the way up every single number to gold three okay cool good good, good. um what heroes do you play um and do you have like a specific rank in mind that you want to reach i'd like to reach plat that'd be kind of fun um it's where most players are i know on, on this on the scale but i've never been a very good fps player and i think being in plat would be neat yeah above good. that would just be a stretch goal yeah um i mean plat is definitely achievable um especially if there's a few fundamental things that are relatively easy to work on which hopefully there should be because this is uh gold um i'll just quickly do a brief rundown of the um, of, of like the Bastion, I, I assume. I, I, what do you just play Bastion or what other heroes? It's just is it just Bastion at the moment? Um, so Bastion, um, Soldier, uh, Reaper. I play I play them very equally in a little bit of Torbjorn. Yeah. Okay. Bastion, and Soldier, Reaper. Yeah. Um, that's a good hero pool. Um, I I think um, what I normally tell players is nulling two to three heroes. Um, if not, I even sometimes recommend to one trick. Um, the reason being is because when you want yeah. to pick a hero, you spend all the time on the hero, and then once you're really good at that hero, you can generalize that skill set across to other heroes, and that's how it generally works. I'm... Instead of you know being mediocre at everything, so you know I right. think I think for two. I have heroes, discovered that. Yeah. Um. I think I think for Bastion, honestly, you could one trick Bastion and then try and see how that goes because Torbjorn isn't too hard to play. Um. It's really landing the Cheetos on Torbjorn that are the biggest skill skill issue. Um. In terms of Bastion, though, it's a little bit more complex. So, there's a few things. Um, the biggest one is turret form. Um, but I, I, so I was in, I was in the game with some friends right now. Um, yeah, I've got a, I can't, mess, I can't whisper to him right now. Can I whisper to him? Um, um yeah, no worries, man. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Uh, so there's many type form here. Um, that was the, that's the main thing. There's a lot of bastions, even in higher ranks, that uh, forget yeah. or don't use the type form properly. Your value is mm. if I drew a graph like over like power. How do I do this? Yeah, time and then like power. Um, bastion is highly cyclical. Um, and its power comes in spikes. All right, so they they come in like these. Um, yeah. I forgot the cooldown of, of your toilet form, but it's I think it's 10 seconds or 12 seconds. But here is like... I think you're right. Yeah, I think here's when you want to maximize, obviously, the, the power that you use. And a lot of Bastions, they'll just pop the the, 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 the toilet form for just extra damage. When in reality, like in this comp here, mm. like this is actually a really good comp for Bastion. Um, it's pretty good, actually, actually. Yeah, but whenever the enemy team, so this enemy Sigma, pushes around this corner or goes in deep, whenever, like, your resource is spear spinning in, basically, when either team are engaging, that's the best time to use a turret form, because that means um, mm. they're not going to easily S key out and avoid your turret form entirely, essentially. Um, so, yeah, mm -hmm. try and use it to capitalize on when either tanks are engaging. That's a very simple rule to, 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 uh, to, to, use, to use with turret form. Um, in terms of your, um, your nade, your grenade... Um, it's either for mobility, um, so I'm not sure if you know, but you can rocket jump up to certain places with the mm -hmm. with your grenade. You can jump around the corner and then turret form immediately afterwards. Um, that's, mm -hmm. you can get quite quirky with it. Um, on this map here, it's very linear and there aren't too many places I can think of. Um, I think maybe, hmm, I'm just thinking right now, like, it's, that's, that's unlikely to do. Um, but like, uh, maybe you stand on this corner here, you, you nade yourself on the floor, then you jump around, and then you, you, you reach high ground, then you pop turret form, and then you blitz everyone on the high ground there. That could be quite, uh, you know, cool. Um, mm. but, but yeah, things like that, essentially. Um, and then the second one is for lethality, obviously, so just using it for general spam, using it to confirm kills, using it on top of your turret form to, again, higher, increase your damage and, and, and increase your power spike during your turret form. That's also a, a general use of it. Um, your artillery... 
very even Overwatch League players don't do this, but it's the simplest thing ever. I think they don't do this because they're very lazy. Um, but you want to use your it's essentially um you want to use it on a mobile heroes, obviously. So like on this compare like honor, it would be a perfect example. Mm -hmm. Um, mobile heroes, and then you want to put the first shot directly on top of the the honor right or the the immobile hero, and then put the second mm. shot um where you think they're gonna move. Um, I'll just put think. So where you you want to lead it to so where you know you think they, you think mm -hmm. they're gonna move, and then the third one is like a counter to that. Um, in case they try and counter to you know, you know their the second shot essentially. And most mm -hmm. of the time, if you do this, um, you will in gold at least you'll probably get the kill. But in high ranks, you at the very least you'll force a, a cooldown like nade, Kiriko Suzu, Kiriko TP, bat immortality field, bat region burst, mm. you'll force abilities like that. Um, and it onto the ash here too, like coach gone and whatnot. Um, but don't just spam down the the tu the turrets because uh, the artillery because it is you know basically a free kill in these elos. If not, you get you get an ability out of, out of out of it. Um, but yeah, that's the stuff specific to Bastion. In terms of general macro and uh general like DPS stuff, um, obviously. Timing, I kind of alluded to this with the top form, but just time your pressure with when your team are pushing. And then positioning is a bit weird. Um, but the worst thing, I have this golden rule, the worst thing you can do is stack mm. main. Um, it is, I have a saying, mm. whenever you stack main, um, you deal less damage and you take more of it yourself. Um, it's mm. always, uh, it's so counterintuitive because if you're, on an, if, you feel, if you're on an angle, it feels kind of risky and you don't feel safe. But when you're stacking down main, you will take loads of random damage from this Farah, Dynamite, Nade, maybe even Sleep Dart, some Sigma Spam too. You'll take random damage just by stacking main. Um, so, so yeah, uh, that's a really key mm. rule positioning. And then there's also this other concept which I call mid-fight rotations. This applies to any hero, honestly. Ana, Il Iliari, Bastion, Soldier, Genji, Echo, like almost any hero in the game. Um, it's, se it's essentially looking to take more aggressive positions um, as... Uh, aggro positions as the fight goes on, so later into the fights. Um, and the reason why this works so well is because no one. So it, I, I can give an example here. On first point, it's not great here for the map geometry. But a good example would be here, where say you're defending, you, you and your team are defending around this corner. Um, yeah, around this corner, your resource here. Uh, the enemy sigma is here, and you're playing bastion, right? So a, a cool mid fight rotation you can do is flank around here. And then top, pop your top form, and then mow down the enemy backline, um, and do that mm. late into the fight because nobody's going to be thinking about a bastion popping on this angle. Um, you know, instead of you know popping your bastion top form down main and looking to try and get a kill, it's more risky, mm -hmm. and you'll just do less damage. Um, sometimes, in some cases, you you will have to stack main, but in this, that's probably a little bit above your pay grade for this rank. Um, it's, and it's more team oriented stuff so if you're playing Lucio that's when you want to speed in with your top form and capitalize on the back line if you're playing I don't know like how the Spitfire are playing so the Spitfire I'm not sure if you keep up with the Overwatch League but they play no. Symmetra Bastion um, they would normally have a Symmetra TP here in the back line have a Bastion pop top form here uh, the Bastion would int in main and the, the Symmetra would pincer from behind that's also another basic sort of um, play that the Spitfire can make um, but yes, again, they're probably above your pay grade. Just generally speaking, mm -hmm. look to take these angles uh, when you can. Um, but yes, a lot of talking. Um, I think I I wanted to get that over and done with because th that's kind of that's like, great. That's kind of like the the sort of the big basis for which you're gonna base a lot of your gameplay off of. Um, but yeah, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I kind of want to speed through first point here because it's so linear that there there isn't much to say about your position yeah, here. Sure. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Um, and and yeah, do feel free to ask me any questions throughout as well. Um, yeah, we'll see how you go. Okay. And Nate, that's fine. I like you bouncing off to get extra spam. That's cool. Okay. So hey, I'm, I'm talking about the 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 team matchup so far, but against Pharmacy, um, this is you try you know try your best to keep the distance of, against Pharmacy, um, mm. and then poke her out from as far as as far as far as you can. Um, Far is actually mm -hmm. quite good on this point. I mean, if I was coaching this far right now, I'd be saying come around here because you're close to the Bastion. You can concuss off this roof and try and get a dive onto him when your team engage. Mm -hmm. Um, but here, like, she's not gonna do anything any any threat to you. She cannot cross mm -hmm. this big ass distance. Um, nah. in front in, in your sight lines, you'll just mow her down. Um, so this is good keeping the distance here. Yeah, she's already she's already half HP right, and she's barely peaked. So yeah. 
okay. This tough form here. So, again, this is kind of what I was saying, right? But mm -hmm. either team right now haven't really engaged, right? Like, this far is still playing relatively passive. Right, the Sigma is barely taking any damage. Sure, your Orisa has popped Fortify, but she's not, like, balls deep in the, in the, in the enemy back backline here. She mm -hmm. wants to be, like, here with Spearspin and looking to get a Javelin on this Ash, maybe shoot her into the wall, maybe get this Arna into the wall too. Like, no no team has really engaged right now. And what I think is going to happen is you're not going to get much value off this top form here, either because... You're calling it now, man. Yeah. You're right. Yeah, and then what's going to happen is, is <laughs> like, the enemy team are going to wait out this top form, and then they're going to push in. And then when you actually need the top form for when they push mm -hmm. in, you're not going to have it. Um, mm -hmm. So, so you'll see, we'll see how it goes here. So this is probably a timing issue, right? Where it's just, again, it's just too early. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. And like this, it just didn't achieve much though, right? So maybe you forced out a right. little bit of kinetic grasp, but now the fall is actually going in. Like, look at her, right? So she's actually mm -hmm. going out in open space, looking to, to walk forward, right? Same thing with the Sigma too. Like, look how close the Orisa is to, to the Sigma. Um, and, you know, the Ash is walking forward, the, the, the Mercy is probably walking forward, the Arna's walking forward. So any time between now and, uh, like, 10 seconds later is when you would probably want to use Turtle Form, right? Um, mm, in terms of the positioning okay. here too, like, I think this you could just pop Turtle Form here. This is a decent angle, I'd say, you can get. Maybe even pop it here. This is also a decent angle because, again, you can see the entire enemy team here. Um, mm -hmm. So, you, the, again, the positioning is fine. It's just the timing was a little bit off. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah. He's a nade that, though. So, like, literally, like, right now, like, imagine... Like, Mercy's directly out in open mm -hmm. space, right? Imagine if you had nade, top form, you'd literally turn this corner... That's a highlighter. Um, but you turn this corner, pop top form, nade the mercy, and she dies, right? And with a little bit of help mm -hmm. from your soldier too, um, and she's gone, right? Or even you know turn around here, and then you know when your your Orisa spear spinning in the 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 sigma, you just top form, break a shield, force kinetic grasp, you get a big CD trade, uh, and maybe you force a, you know the, your your aunt, the enemy honor to nade the sigma to keep him alive, you get a better CD trade. Um, so so yeah, that's it'll be a, a perfect time to top form. But right now mm -hmm. it's on cooldown. Um, so yeah. Okay. Then you can see all the space your team's giving it up right now. Like, your team would love mm. to have a total form in the last, like, 15 to 20 seconds. Mm. Yeah. Probably, yeah, probably lose that fight there, yeah. That's, I mean, you get away with this. I mean, in, in GM, you die there immediately. Um, mm. so you, you, you get away with it. Um, but yeah. Really important, you actually don't die here. So, like, right now, you need to be a bit more aware of the pharmacy. Um, mm -hmm. She's actually not playing cover well, so you can, again, you've got a decent aim with you and your Iliari, and even your Arna to some extent, too. Just beam down the far, and she should, she should die. Um, but yeah, again, the far, you really don't want to get her close. I mean, a, a loads of low elo players struggle with pharmacy. The key thing is poking her out before she closes the distance. Um, is really the thing. Okay. Well, okay, nice pick, I guess. As a it was lucky. very lucky, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'll see what we can get, I guess. Um, this top from here. So again, what is what is the main issue? Uh, only one player out in front, and it's the tank. Yeah, right. And only have... uh, only the Sigma's yeah. peaking, right? Um, and then yeah. yeah, your your hog is not your hog is a Narnia. He is a uh, in spawn. So this top yeah. again. Sure, you're gonna break shield there, but you could have done that with just your, your normal primary fire. Um, and and you're gonna, you're gonna break shield there, which is fine. But again, when your hog is actually gonna you know, walk his uh, you know walk all the way back to point here and touch, um, that is mm -hmm. when you wanna wanna have your top form. Right, that's when you actually wanna W key in, top form in, walk, get some space off with your top form. Maybe we can force connect to grasp, break shield, get some HP off, etc. Um, but yeah, you're not gonna have it for that point in time. So right mm -hmm. now I would just I would, I would just be in your normal form, bam out away, yeah. So I just didn't get much there. Mm -mm. And right now again, when that far like literally concussed, literally like in front of your entire team. Like and now, and literally, yeah, no. it's literally your your thing's about to end. But like, like as soon as far goes for this really aggressive play, which should never really happen, then mm -hmm. like literally right now is when I talk form. Like literally right now. Yeah, we. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I was not able to punish her. She she got away. You'll see. She'll get away with a lot in this game. Mm. Mm. And it's again, it's the timing of the top from there. Um, so yeah, again, and once again, too early. Mm -hmm. Just being a little more um, delaying my turret form. Say, I learned to. Um, I was watching a lot of videos. I remember learning. Okay, you you want to pop turret form when somebody's crossing ground when they're entering space. And I think I've been doing that. Oh, they're entering space. Pop turret form. You're saying 
wait till they're actually in the space in an awkward spot. Yeah, so like one who can actually follow up off or get a good CD trade or HP mm. trade off your top form, um, which right. is often when either team are engaging. Um, so like, um, yes, yeah, so like here for example, right? Like this this far you can is actually a threat. Like you can actually kill this farmer um, in this sort of distance mm. with top form. But right now you have HP in your normal form, um, and again you'd love to be on top form here, blitzing down this far, but you're not. Yeah. Um, so yeah. again, top form like here, um, in this kind of distance. Um, first off, you'd be doing more damage in your, in your regular form, but also, no one's gonna, not, neither team is engaging. Um, nothing's really happening. Um, so yeah, don't, tr try not to use a turret form in the pre-fights. Um, so uh, you wanna actually save it for, you know, when either, again, either team's engaging. Um, so yeah, as far as engaging right now, um, your hogs should be engaging anytime soon. Yeah, he's, he's walking over, um, but it's really this far that could be blissed down right now. Um, yeah. <laughs> I think part of what you're saying is I'm realizing I don't know when a fight technically is starting. You know, there to you it's very clear. Yeah, I think this yeah. is helpful because I'm realizing okay, the fight isn't when they round the corner. The fight is when they're in space and we have everyone available. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I th it depends on. I say it depends on each hero, right? But it depends on like when each hero is um, looking to close closing distance is a big thing for lower heroes. Um, but if it feels like for Fara, like the go sign is normally a concussion blast, um, or her just flying out in open space. Um, for tanks, it's just walking sometimes. For Tracer, it could be uh, blinking around here, and then this is a really mm -hmm. awkward map to do this one because Tracer's not. Okay, there's no flanks here. Like, say, you know, Tracer was like an enemy Tracer was like back here, that would be a time to use it. Maybe a Genji like dashes in the air and then, you know, pops Blade. That's when you want to pop your turret form. Maybe a May Wall. Pops down on 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 car here, um, and that's when you want to use it. Um, maybe a, a Reaper TP's backline, like a Reaper TP's back here. That's a good time to pop your your turrets. Mm -hmm. um, so it's either like a like a CD thing. It's, it's probably a CD thing most of the time actually. Um, okay. Yeah, concussion blast, TP, um, dashing in. Um, it's looking to aggression is the main thing, right? Aggression, I think, is, is really the key thing. Yeah. When so so C start getting popped. That's when I pop mine. Yeah, yeah. When so either I team up playing aggressive, that's okay. when you yeah, well, that's when you want to pop it. Yeah. Um, Got it. But yeah, there's no sign that's so far. That's very helpful. Yeah. So far, there's <clears> no been that's been as your turret forms haven't been linked to aggression at all. Um, hence <clears> why <throat> they've been too early. Like, like, like look at this far. Like she's just I don't know. She should die for this immediately. I know. Um, <laughs> she yeah. should, but she doesn't. Yeah. So one thing as well. This is a, this is a mechanical thing. Um, it's uh, I, you need to tr try and treat your primary fire like a DMR more than a machine gun. And what I mean by that is you want to click each individual shot like a mm. sniper rifle or like a uh, again like, like a DMR and like a like I'm sure you're familiar with like COD or like Rainbow Six Siege, mm -hmm. um, like semi semi-automatic guns. That's how essentially you want to treat it. Um, because right now you miss. Let's see, you're on twenty-five shots here. Um, you miss. Da, 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 da. You miss 10 or 11 shots there, right? Not a single mm -hmm. one hit there, right? So my advice there is just to take your time. It's fine if you need to take the half mm. second to readjust your crosshair um, and then, you know, mm -hmm. just re realign it. But just don't spam. Try not to spam out an open space. Uh, because Bastion does a lot of damage in his turret form, believe it or not. Um, or his regular form, mm -hmm. right? 25 damage a shot. Um, so yeah, if you, if you have three, four shots there, four out of 10 shots, which is less than mm -hmm. half, you get far to, to uh, under 100 HP um, you know, with the help of your soldier a little bit. So each shot will count. Um, so try and treat it more like a DMR than, you know, a spam gun. Um, that's really good. Yeah, so, that's good so yeah. Oh, I also remember in this game, I was lagging. I, I don't know if it was at this point or not. You can't see it on my screen, but I started hitting some ping issues halfway through. Mm -hmm. So we'll see that. We'll see that show up in a little bit. Okay, here. okay, no worries. Okay. So, question: Why, why not use a turret form here? Um, I think I wasn't aware that I had it. Oh, okay. one thing I know about myself playing at this level is I just I'm very I get z very um zoned in, mm. and I, I play maybe two three hours a week. I have a lot of commitments, so I think part of the reason I'm not getting better is just I haven't played enough. I've played over a hundred hours, but I, you know I haven't played two hundred hours, but I haven't played enough to really understand what abilities i have what they have and i that's part of the issue there yeah for sure yeah i think um god i mean two to three hours a week is pretty skim um most players what well, i'm i advise when if someone's serious about improving um especially for like diamond or masters above 
Um, I normally yeah. advise at least two to three hours a day, um, which is <laughs> quite a lot. Yeah. So yeah, it's a big jump. But I think for you, um, again, if you can just bump that up by even like four to five, or like again three to five, just a little a slight bump, um, that should help okay. you see some something some better progress. Um, I mean, it's mm-hmm. not even like you're wanting to go to like masters or anything. It's from plat, so sort of gold to plat. Um, so yeah. yeah. I just gotta, I just want to get next step, man. That's just yeah. like with the, I know I'm I know I'm limited, so my goal is just next level up and then go from there yeah you can you can still like undoubtedly reach that with again three the, 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 with the rate you're at it's not like a massive leap in goal that you need to do um so yeah like here would be a perfect a perfect example mm. to use it right because great, again great you point. see a tons of regression right now right like your the, your hog is literally half hp right now um and he's face hugging math sigma um, he's taking all the aggression from the enemy team, right? Um, and look how aggressive this Arnold's playing, right? Literally out in open space. Your Just Iliari, frontlining. Exactly, right? And then your Iliari is walking forward as well, and she's about to pop her captive sun. Uh, there's a lot of aggression going on right now, a lot of it. Um, so this would be the perfect time to use a top form. Um, so yeah, you could just pop it right now, and then mow down. You can... Normally with target priority, some players struggle with this. Um, I just break it down simply into what targets are easy to kill. Um, and which what targets are dangerous. So I look at mm-hmm. this uh, enemy team here. If you were to pop top form, I would probably blitz the uh, the Sigma um, because he's out in open space, big hitbox, easy to kill, and he's relatively dangerous. Um, if you can, I'd go for the Honor, but that might be hard because she, you, you might not be able to see her. Same thing with the Ash on the Mercy. Those would be the better mm-hmm. targets, but if you can't see them, then Sigma's the best picker. Um, but that, so far, that doesn't really matter too much. It's just, again, the, the total form usage here um, would be perfect. So, so yeah, there we go. There we go. Yeah, just too little too late, right? Your hog's already dead. Yeah, um, yeah that could have been done five seconds ago. That's a ago. good point. Yeah. yeah. That's a shame because that Arna dies right there, right? And you actually helped to get that Arna kill there with the total form. Mm-hmm. Um, but, again, that could have been done earlier and you could have relieved some pressure off your, off your hog there. It's a bit of a shame. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that top from there was too late on that one there. Yeah. Okay. Diver, yeah. I probably would have backed off there, just back off, SK out, the reset to a yeah. team, because right now, um, you're kind of staggering, so I mean, look at what your hog is, right? Like, your hog is actually yeah. fairly up, um, whereas you're just now res- respawning, and you're fairly a mobile mm. hero, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's see how this fight goes. So yeah, so your uh, soldier's visoring right now, um, which means he's probably gonna go ag- aggressive. Your hog is half HP right now. They're probably walking forward. So again, this is the time where your team's gonna look to go aggressive. So this soldier is probably gonna walk forward with visor, look to get some value. Dynamite's being thrown. So again, at any time in between now and the next five seconds would be a good time to pop your turret form and walk forward. Um, one thing I, I would make sure though is don't, I would not pop it now, I would probably walk up a little bit, then pop it because these guys mm. are again, are probably going to walk around the corner um, but you could, on, again, you could do the exact same thing I, I talked about like with the example here right, where you could, you know, your team could walk in like this or walk in like this and then you pop around here and then catch the back mm-hmm. line um, so yeah, we'll see, we'll see what you do here yeah you, do, yeah, you do what I say. So, you're quite lucky here because the far is just out oh. in open space. Yeah, so, it yeah, ends up being quite a good one. Um, because, again, this far is playing extremely aggressive. So, you get value here. But, yeah, I, I doubt you're going to get much else here. Okay. Yeah, that's, not, that's not too bad, at least. So, you br- destroy the, t- the, the Sigma Tart Shield. You get the Sigma Tart of HP. So, this isn't too bad, i say. So, yeah, not, not too bad. But again, against a better team here, um, the Sigma's going to back up SK out. The Forest is going to be hugging this um, this left side, you know, a building here, mm-hmm. and then firing rockets. And then, if I get enough discussions far, I'd say, can cost off the roof and then go for the for the, um, the barrage here. But, yeah. Mm-hmm. Probably your best platform so far. I'd still say that's a bit too early because, again, the, the, the distance is a bit, a bit too far. Um, but, yeah, mm-hmm. probably the best start from there. Okay, Flux. A bit unfortunate there. Yeah, a bit unfortunate. Nothing much you can do there, unfortunately. Mm. I mean, weirdly enough, um, if you had actually gone around the left side here, or again, mm. gone around here, 
but there's a chance you don't get fluxed, right? And again, it's about, mm-hmm. you know, when you have a one of your sack main, you take less damage, but deal more of it yourself. Mm-hmm. Um, who knows? Maybe if you actually push up him, maybe. Um, or even here, mm-hmm. even, and gone for a ballsy play, you probably would have avoided that flux. Um, so, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, third point is probably third point's okay, a decent fight angle, so I'd say. Um, yeah, so you could actually rocket jump up here and then go over here. I, I'm pretty sure I'm 99 sure you can do this. Um, it then, sounds like it, yeah. Yeah, then you can. Great. This is a pretty good angle you can use as well. Um, yeah, that's when you probably use it for mobility here. So, so I point that out. Good point. Okay, so like right now, would you should you use a platform? No, there's no one in space. That's Available easily if to, you know, I want to get them where they don't have a chance to peek behind cover. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think it's yeah. I think it's debatable. I think you know your hog got a good hook, so he hooked in the sigma here. Um, but the sigma is probably gonna grasp away and go away. And anyways, I wouldn't be angry here or, or mad if you actually pop top from here because things are going on. So and they are being aggressive. So mm. yeah, but the rest of the enemy team here okay. are not. They are all, they're, they're widows that should spawn. Um. So I wouldn't be mad if you used it here to, just to try and get a kill on the Sigma, maybe force a nade or something. Um, I think it would be okay to use it, but yeah. yeah so like right now, again, like the Sigma's actually, your window's gone, right? So like, again, I would have yeah, been fine if you yeah. actually used it here, um, because again, your hog was being Too aggressive. <laughs> um, but now, like the Sigma, like what can you actually see? Yeah, you, you can't see anyone. <laughs> They're all literally all around the corner. That's, um, yeah. I think I think part of it yeah. is down to your positioning because again, if you're on high ground here, you've got a better angle. But again, like your team just aren't pushing around. Um, you'd be going aggressive here when the rest of your team aren't. Um, so it's still be mistimed, I think. So again, too early. Yeah. Again, your hog gets another good hook, hook here, right? Um, again, if you were like here, right now is when you'd pop it. Blitz down that Sigma, blitz mm. down that Honor, maybe turn around left side and blitz down that Ash, push her off high grounds. So many different options here. Hell, you can even like nade the Mercy on top mm-hmm. here and then try and go, go for the Mercy. Mm-hmm. Like so many different options. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. Unfortunate. Yeah, I like the artillery though, after you popped uh, top from there. Um, I think the timing of the artillery is good here. Actually, not, not too bad of an artillery, I think. Um, I think, let's see where you use it. So yeah, you go for the Sigma here, um, and he's, you, you, you try and split off the Mercy and the Sigma here. Yeah, I, I think it's fine. I, I think it's fine. I think the one there on, there on the ground is fine. I think this, this third one, I probably would have placed on the stairs here, so we can't move up the stairs. Um, yeah, but yeah, I yeah think good these call. Are, these are fine. Yeah, these are fine, honestly, yeah. I think the other thing I'd say is that this Mercy probably shouldn't have GA'd in. Um, I was probably kind of lucky getting that kill there, but apart from that, I think, again, a good, yeah. good, good, good uh, RTW. You can see he's going up the stairs right now, right? So, yeah, that's the, the, only the third lot shot there I probably would have changed. But apart from that, good lot to do. Hmm. Honestly, they're the most unfortunate players. You just ban it all the time. I don't know why. Uh, okay, so here. <laughs> um, so this is a slight positional issue. So, backing off it, which is fine, right? You're fine. Because you're, you're you're going into a nano sigma there, which is fine. Um, but right now, when do you get healed up here? Yeah, you, you take the menu, right? Um, where could you potentially move to? With, with considering you also have Tartform as well, the Sigma hasn't got Grasp, where could you move to? Mm, I'll just push the sh- Sigma up the stairs? Yeah, yeah, push the, yeah, push the Sigma up the stairs, right. Um, I, again, have to be a bit careful of accretion here. Did he, I think, did he use it on the, on the soldier? Um, I'm pretty sure he did. Yeah, yeah, he used it on the soldier. He's, he's got no accretion, right? Um, yeah, he did. Yeah. So, yeah, literally, right now, um, get that, get that menu. And then go up the left side, right? And then clear off that Sigma, right? And now you've got a two mm-hmm. angles, right? You've got control of the high grounds and you've got control down main, right? Uh, which means you can actually see people a little bit deeper on this, on, on this angle here. You can go a little bit deeper, right? You can even go in a bit even more deeper yourself and take this angle here, right? Even rotate here, take another angle here, right? This is the mid fight rotations I was talking about. Um, where again, like your team walk in main here and then you flank around or you take a good angle and then you control the space here. Um, this is kind of what is, you know, the big thing. Um, so yeah, this is a key rotation to make here. Uh, and yeah, there's no reason to be afraid of the Sigma. He's got no nano boost, no accretion, you've got turret form and armor, you should be good. He drops off it anyways, but he literally does it for you. Um, but ima- imagine this angle here, right? It's like the Sigma gets crossfired by you 
and the hog. Well, he has to choose which one to eat with his grasp. Um, so yeah. Yeah, you do end up, end up getting too much value with that with the, with the um, thingy there, the, the, the top one, right? And it's because it's you can't see the enemy team. You haven't got a good angle here. Right? Whereas again, here you can actually see what you want to shoot. Um, you've got a good angle. Ooh, I really, uh, yeah, again, I really want you to take this. I like Look look at this ash, right? Like, this ash is actually taking it herself. Um, I was like, oh, are, are you going to take it? Like, you're kind of juking, juking back and forth. Um, but yeah. Let, again, look at this ash. Yeah, I think I felt uncomfortable knowing there was a Widow up there. The, the Widow too? That's, that's a fair point, yeah. Um, I think in, I think if you're somewhat aware of where the Widow, I mean, the Widow can still see you here, right? Right over there. Um, she can still shoot from here. Oh, that's a good point, yeah. So, so yeah, I think I've got a little. You got a bit of some cover here to use as well. They got these pillars here to use. Um, I think you could literally, honestly, just talk from here and then blitz down the honor. Even play this doorway here if you're really that scared. Um, and then because again, if you're on top form, your head hitbox is behind you. She can only body shots. Plus you've got ironclad. Plus you've got armor. So you should be fine uh, against the widow. So I wouldn't worry, I wouldn't worry about it too much. Again, the angle, right? If you're here, you shoot the you shoot you shoot the ash. Maybe you kill kill the ash, and then you kill you kill, you go deeper, right? And then you shoot the sigma, right? You're here, and then you, you can't hide from the damage, um, because there's multiple angles. So yeah, that's really key. That's a good point. I think um, as Bastion, I try to play a little more conservatively because I've learned his lack of mobility gets me in a lot of pickles when I go take those flanks. Mm. So I don't do a lot of flanks with Bastion. This is so this is good. This is good, healthy. Okay, but you can you can push that more. Yeah, yeah. I mean, just literally look at your soldier right now. Like, you're sort of doing it right now. Um, yeah. Right here. And this, this could be you. Right there, right there. That is it. That's game winning right there, right? The soldier goes for the ash, gets a low, maybe kills her, probably kills her actually in this elo. Um, but gets control of the side on here, right? Gets the ash off, right? And the enemy team, even though they get a good nade, they just can't push because they're going to be walking in main. Um, so yeah, this again, this space is really, really important to control here. Um, so yeah, it's good that you mentioned the, fl the flanking thing. Um, I again another golden rule with flanking. Um, the more aggressive a flank, um, the later it needs to be timed, because if it's late into a fight, no one's gonna be thinking about some extreme hard flank. Um, they're all gonna be thinking what's in front of them essentially. Um, so if you're going for something that's a really aggressive, that's when you wanna do it. You wanna do it later into the fights. Um, and also. Um, it depends on the enemy comp, um, the enemy composition, right? So, in, es in essentially, essentially, I break this down to mobility, um, mobility, right? So against immobile comps, which this is, right? There's not ri literally there's no mobility in this comp here, um, but you can literally half flank to your heart's content, right? Because if you're if you're like uh, flanking around hell, what's like a really risky flank it to do? Um, like yeah, literally walking around here. Going here, walking around over here, taking this really risky angle, and then blitzing the enemy team from behind. You could legitimately do that on, on against this comp, right? And the main reason being is because nobody's gonna mark you while you walk all the way and take this flank. Like, there's no tracer, there's no sombra, there's no diva, there's no echo. Well, echoes less to a lesser extent, but there's no high mobility heroes that can, you know, hunt you down immediately, right? The widow isn't gonna mark you, and then from over here, right? No one's gonna, no one's gonna mark you. No one's gonna care. They can't reach you. Whereas if you're playing Tracer, Tracer can easily access the side ground immediately, right, with three blinks, and then you're dead. Um, it's why, again, it's why Soldier is super hard to play against Sombra Tracer, because you just can't half flank, you can't, you, you can't, you just spin properly. Um, which is why you see Soldiers go Cassidy or Torb into, um, into Sombra Tracer. Um, but yeah, against this comp here, you can really half flank, you can, you can go for it. But against high mobility comps like Tracer and Sombra in particular, Doomfist to a lesser extent, and Ball as well to a lesser extent, and Diva to a lesser extent too. Um, that's when you want to refrain from half flanking as well. Um, but here, against this comp, half flank, do it. Just make sure it's well timed. Um, yeah, like, you could honestly, like, walk, flank over here, top form. Imagine a top form here. Like, literally imagine it. Like, it is crazy, right? Like, you, you just blitz down these supports here, blitz down that Widowmaker. They're not even going to be expecting it if it's well timed. So, yeah. So I bring that up. That's a really good point. I've learned about the timing of the flank on Reaper. I played a lot of mm. Reaper. I was a one trick almost for a little bit. Yeah, yeah. And I know what you're talking about because in Reaper you can't you you gotta wait and then you know get the you one kill yeah. and get out. Yeah. I yeah, I haven't done that with Bastion a lot. And 
I guess I wasn't even aware of the lack of mobility on their comps. So this is a really good thing for me to remember is like, think about what their comp is like as Bastion. Can I go for that harder flank or not? Exactly, exactly, yeah. Because like no one's, they just haven't got the mobility to, to be able to, to, to mark you essentially um, and track you down. Um, again, if they're playing like, uh, what's a mobile, what's a relatively common mobile comp? If they're playing like Tracer, uh, Kiriko, um, Diva, Sombra, um, it would be much harder to pull something like a flank on the side gone off. It would be much, much harder. Like, I, I would expect a Diva and a Kiriko and a Sombra here to be on you immediately. Um, which means it's very hard to flank against this kind of comp here, and it's because of the mobility. Um, so yeah, that's a really, really big thing to notice. Um, if you, it's, yeah, it's just the timing and mobility in short. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll watch one more fight, and then we'll do a quick summary. Um, and, and, and yeah. I see this top form though. Okay. Yeah, soldier did your soldier did really really good there. Took the flank, killed the ash, won the jewel. Again, you should have done that earlier, but yeah. And then here, I think it's okay. You, I mean, you saw the signal pushing. You activate turret mode. You're five v four. Your team can push the advantage. Yeah, I think the timing is relatively fine. Um, yeah. I must see soft HP, force behind the cover, break shield. Yeah, it's fine. I think that's a relatively fine uh, top from there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I think really the biggest was the, the, this fight was lost 20 seconds ago when you just didn't take the Saigon over here and then control the space. Wow, okay. Um, yeah. Wow, okay, yeah. that's good to yeah, know. Wow. Like, what happened is that your, your the soldier killed the uh, the ash, but then your, the, your mm -hmm. the soldier got pushed off by the sigma, and then the, your the merc got the res off the um the res onto the ash, and then you lost a, you lost the space here. Um, mm -hmm. If you had been in with your soldier, you kill that ash faster. You deny that sigma from walking up. You probably even deny the mercy even to even to some extent. If you mm -hmm. your soldier saves on high gun here too. Yeah, it's just again controlling the space in some way, some shape or form. I um, mean, it's not just you, it's your team as well. Like, I'd be shouting at this Kiriko to flank with the soldier and control the space. Um, it's just that important here. Um, yeah, so like, again, in, in, in ranks, um, it should be relatively easy to, to, to control. Um, but yeah, let's do a quick summary. Um, I think, again, the biggest thing, number one, has to be, has to be timing. It has to be timing of your tower form. Right? It's all linked to aggression for the, mm. for the main parts. Um, and most of the time, some of the time, this wasn't the case, but most of the time, it, it was popped too early. Um, so, so yeah, just watch out for that. And then, again, look for aggression, right? Normally, this would be uh, cooldowns um, or just distance. Um, so, like, walking, literally just walking or W keying in. Um, mm -hmm. That's probably what it would be. But those are, like, good uh, signs to note in terms of, like, oh, okay, the enemy team are going aggressive now. Ag aggressive now. I can put my top form and get good value. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. And then I'd say, second thing, um, your grenades were okay, your artillery was fine, um, I'd say, I'd say, I'd still say positioning, slash, mm -hmm. uh, map control, um, mm -hmm. again, looking to, uh, control, uh, key angles with top form, right, Form uh, is probably the key thing there, um, and then the third, the third thing, I'd say, hmm, again, artillery was fine, which was fine. Uh, I'd, I'd maybe say mechanics here. Um, yeah, I'd probably say mechanics here, honestly. Um, and then I'd say slash, mm -hmm. hmm, maybe I, I don't, I don't know about that because the real is a bit hard for flanking. That's probably mechanics, so like trigger discipline, um, on. Uh, what's it called sentry mode? I think it's called um, mm -hmm. sentry mode in your regular or in your regular form. Um, and yeah, that's it for the main parts. Uh, maybe some small things with nade too. But it's really the timing with the, the with top form. It's really the big thing there. Um, if you if you top form at the right time on a good angle, you will come. To, you will guarantee. I guarantee you will come to pass. Um, you'll win so many more mm. games. Um, if you mm. link it to aggression. So that's really the big fish. To, big fish to fry. Um, any questions? No, that's fantastic. I, I'm, I'm excited to uh, to get into it. Great, great. Well, I'll st oh, if you've got any questions, um, do let me know. Um, I will stop recording now, and then that will go on to YouTube, so you can rewatch it anytime. Um, yeah, cool. It was nice talking to you.
uh, and I'll hopefully yeah. bounce back soon. Um, yeah, yeah. Thank, 